Hey y'all, it's your girl KT and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you guys know and you see the title of this video, this is the September Reset Routine. You guys know the deal. I love doing a reset routine because this year y'all, I gotta, I gotta get back on my Zoom. I, I definitely have to get back on my Zoom. I don't know what's going on. You know, life is life and um... And we'll get into that on that life update when I finally make it. But uh, we 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 got we got a lot to talk about. But first, hi, my name is KT. If you're new to this channel, this is the channel that talks about public relations, business advice, career advice, and a sprinkle of lifestyle from here to there. So thank you for joining the journey. Thank you for joining the channel. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe because. If you clicked on this video, you are very interested. So you might as well just come be a part of the nice family over here that we have. So, as you guys know, I love to do these reset routines because again, I told you I gotta get my Zoom. I gotta get on my life, life and life. And it's a lot of things going on. And we we gonna get into what August looked like. Um before we get into that, did anybody feel like August just, you know, zoom right past? Like, I <laughs> I thought June and July went by fast. I feel like August did this and was out the door. So, I guess she said she wasn't going to be here for long. Um, and so, we're, we're, we're in September now. So, um, without further ado, I'm just going to get straight on into the video. As you guys know, like I said, I always love to do these reset routines because it gives me a chance to really reflect on the things that kind of what I wanted to do versus what happened, all that kind of stuff. And it keeps me to be accountable and I just like reset routines. So um, let's get into what August looked like. So I am, if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my iPad because I have my notes here for uh, the template. As always, uh, you'll see it on the screen while I'm talking. Uh, but just to talk about the intentions that August had. I had the intentions on uh, getting all this out of my system. So if you guys don't know, I am actually in my PhD program. So I knew august was like halfway classes won't start and my summer was basically over so i was like i'm gonna finish my summer before classes start what it looks like is is a blur um but we we was gonna have fun in august so that's what i did uh i was focused on just living my life um also providing more clarity about what I need to do in the situation that I am in. I'll get more into that uh, later um, uh, in a vlog. We'll, we'll talk, we'll chat. Um, but it's, it's a lot. So basically the internal thought, well intentional thought for the month is I am surrounding myself and my process because I am somebody who is a planner as you can see we have notes I'm a planner so August because again this year has really been something that I have to learn of giving up control I won't say I'm a control freak but I do tend to like things to happen in a certain way so I have really figured out I have to give up that control so uh, for the month of August, I really let go and let God and was like, okay, we just go go with what he will actually really start this in July and carrying on into August of really seeing where he could lead me in this next phase of life and out of this season and all that kind of stuff. So that was the intentional thought for the month. The highest for the month was being outside. So let me tell you. When I tell you, I hey last weekend, so I went and got my hair done. I went to Birmingham, 
when I tell you I was Eddie Vit, Eddie Vit, Eddie Vit, I was outside for this last week of July. And then y'all know my sister's birthday happened, all that kind of stuff. So I've been literally, actually, I can tell you starting in June, I really haven't been in my apartment that long by myself. I'm always somewhere, I'm out and about, so you guys should be proud of me. But I was out in August, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I felt like I spent no time in my apartment. And it's going to probably carry into September and October too because I got so many events that I need to be at. So, anyway, another high is therapy. Lord, y'all, let me tell you, therapy wrecked me in August. <laughs> um, I am someone who goes bi-weekly, so I go um, every two weeks. But when I tell you, wrecked. Uh, well, again, it started in July, but really, coming into August, I was wrecked. And I know you're looking like, well, if you was wrecked, how was it out high? I got a lot of tools to figure out what I need to do next and setting those healthy boundaries. And then also coming into terms to a lot of things that's going on. So, shout out to my therapist. Um, I don't think she watched my channel, but hey girl, if you ever watch it. Another high for this moment is finding inner peace regarding being in this space. So, I talked a lot about my decision on basically trying to figure out what, what's next for me. And I know you probably like, you just move so what do you mean what's next shouldn't you be staying still i could but there are so many things that have led up to this <laughs> realization um and i talked about it on the life update i think i might re shoot the life update because when i tell y'all was all over the place and i know y'all will watch that video and be like what's going on like what what's the tea like you baiting around about stuff what's going on but <clears throat> i really have tried to figure out you know being okay with not being okay and finding peace with the situation and being like okay now that i'm not blaming myself for it anymore i'm not bitter about the situation what do i need to do next for my sanity so finding that kind of inner peace with the situation and the lows for this month is professional and career choice so i guess i will tell this spill this little tea because i i mean it is what it is if they watch it, they watch it, if they don't, if they don't, I really don't care. So, I am actually on the hunt for a new job. <laughs> I know y'all like, what happened? So, there's a lot of things that have contributed to this. Once we're on the other side of everything, I might talk about it. I might. But, um, really coming to terms with the things that I was told and things promised and things that happened is not what's happening now. And just knowing that I'm really at a space that I want to be somewhere long term. Like, don't get me wrong. I never just was like, oh, I'm finna just hop to hop, hop, hop. That has never been me. But it's always been situations that have presented themselves to the point that it's either a no-brainer that you got to go or you know something happened and it's like all right girl you Casey you you really got to go like this this ain't no drill you cannot collect 200 you got to go so that's what happened <laughs> in this situation uh a lot of stuff started revealing itself around June I already felt some type of way before June let's let's keep it a book there was a lot of things that I was like, mm, I don't know about this. Maybe we, and then I was like, well, maybe I'm just new. But you know, when one signs come up, one signs come up. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna give me some time. I was like, it ain't even been six months yet. Just give it time. To the date of my six months, that's when this situation popped off, and I was like, oh dang. Yeah, we got stuck. 
Like I was already feeling like eh, we might we gonna stay the year, find somewhere to go in January. And that's what the terms came to when June hit. But when that situation hit, I was like, oh no, we <laughs> we gotta go, girl. Like this this ain't what this ain't what we signed up for. So uh really understanding it and being okay with the whole situation so now i'm back on the job market back on so let's keep it real i still have a job there was nothing that you know transpired to the point that i don't have a job i'm thankful to still have this job all that kind of stuff but i am looking for another job so i had to come to terms with professional career choice so now i am back on the market looking for something hopefully fingers crossed everything goes well so that's it that's a lot <laughs> to unpack and i'm, I'm telling y'all it's for me going through it it was like girl what are we gonna do but god got me it's a whole situation going on so let's let's get into what the focus intentions for august was so if you're looking on the screen i have it broken down by personal business health and fitness spiritual and finance um oh okay sorry y'all i'm over here burger so for personal i had read two books for the month buy school books before august 19 develop a true morning and evening routine and get my hair braided as you can see some of these are are checked out so i did read my two books for the month so the books that i read for this month was dream big by liz edding i think that's how you pronounce her last name i put a screenshot somewhere of the book or i'll put it down here or something and then the second book i'm still currently reading it but i We'll be finished with this before September hits. So I'm filming this a couple of about a week before September hits. So I definitely have time to finish the book, especially since I go on vacation. Yes, I'm going on vacation. We'll get into what September comes. <laughs> but so I'll and the second book is The Mountain Is You um, by Brianna West. I am very much I, don't get me wrong, I love a fiction book down. If you I love a good fiction book down but I've really been in my nonfiction and career and confidence and all that kind of jazz so I've been really reading a lot of that stuff so that's that's what's been going on but I would check that out by school books so y'all know August 19th school started I'm back in the swing of things so we check that out I don't know why this morning and evening routine thing is really kicking my ass <laughs> but it's really kicking my ass y'all like i just cannot understand why i cannot build a new morning and evening routine but kind of i know why ish but i need to do better for the next season of my life so that didn't get done in august but we'll we'll, we'll, we'll go back forward um, and get my hair braided. So as you can see, I did get my hair braided in August because uh, I did not want to go on vacation and do my hair. That's about it. Um, so business, YouTube, and social media. I did not upload on YouTube eight times. I don't, I know what happened. So I did not do my due diligence and get to filming during my break from school like I was supposed to. There's no excuses. It is what it is. But now I'm like, I got to get back on my Zoom. This is my hobby. This is what I really love to do. So we're going to do better. So I do, I did check out Be More Attentional on making content for social medias. But as if I'm not doing YouTube, I don't know what it is. But I'm on my TikTok and my Instagram. It might not look like it on TikTok because I don't know what's going on with this algorithm. I can't get past 200. Heck, the last post did 100. I can't get past that many views on TikTok and stuff. So I'm just like, okay. But I was putting the content out. Content was content. So health and fitness, I did nothing. When I tell you, I really feel like August came and went. I, <laughs> I sit here and think about where did the time go? Because I remember 
setting these intentions in August. I was like, okay, we're gonna build August back up, you know, school. I need to be more disciplined, this day, and the third. And August was like, sweetheart, just go sit down somewhere. Because I don't know what happened to it. I know where I was in August, but just time, I, I don't know. It's, it went over my head. So I did not walk at least four times a week, and I did not work out. So, yeah. Spiritual. Go to church. I did not go to church, y'all. I am still struggling of trying to find a church home. Like, I might watch a sermon on social media or watch a sermon on YouTube. That kind of stuff. But to actually go inside the church, I have not done that in months. And I think one of the reasons why was because with my boss at the time, I was going to so many churches with her and it didn't matter it, it was just a lot so i was like i was gonna do this but we're we gonna we're gonna figure it out and save five hundred dollars you know what i did do that i my bad y'all i'm over here tripping i did save an extra five hundred dollars so um that's about it for august so what are we what's september looking like so as you can see I got some stuff on September, but we got to do better. We got to get on our Zoom September. Uh, again, we got to get back in the swing of things. So this is what September is going to look like. So what I'm looking forward to the most is, like I said, I'm going on vacation. I'm going to Savannah. I know y'all be like, you keep going to Savannah. Like, what's in Savannah? Everything. If, I hate to say it like this, but if I can move to Savannah, I will. The, pr the opportunity has not presented itself. A job has not presented itself. But if it's a job that presents itself, I will move to Savannah. That, and I know my mom probably, if she was listening, she'd be like, girl, I moved from Savannah, so you wouldn't have. I know that. I know that. But for me, Savannah is like the most relaxing place for me. I can get my good seafood because I'm a seafood girly. And just being able to, I don't know, every time I go to Savannah, it was, it's really doing a reflection period of my life. So the last two years, I went on my birthday. A year before that, I went on St. Patrick's Day. And that was just a mind-boggling experience because that's when I came to realization, girl, you need to start looking for something else. Uh, so I have these moments of when I go to Savannah that has offered me so much clarity and maybe it's because I'm by the water. Um, I don't know how to swim but being by the water is just so relaxing to me so that's it. Uh, <laughs> maybe having a new beginning happening. If all goes well, if all goes well, <laughs> this gonna be this gonna look totally different from when I do the update for October. You gonna be like, yeah, I know you lying. If all goes well, let's put it like that. I don't want to jinx myself. I don't want to put too much into the atmosphere. Because the last time I did this, like, it, it blew up in my face. So, I'm just saying, maybe, possibly, something new will be starting. Cool. And it's cool, because this is your girl last semester for doing core classes, y'all. I have made it out the struggle. but Or the struggle starting. I don't know which one it is yet, but... Um, so in my PhD program for two years, you're actually, and it might be longer. I just kind of double up on classes because I just, I just be trying to, I learn, but I just want to keep going through. So what I mean is this semester I'm finishing up my actual classes. So I had to take classes before my whole dissertation process. So January, as long as I pass my classes this semester, the end of October, I get a long break. In January, I will start my dissertation process. What that looks like, I have no idea. I just know I'll be enrolled in four classes each, well, one class each semester. And then I think on the last semester, I could double up on the defense class. So if all goes well. 
your girl will be graduating December 2025. And when I tell you, I don't want to see another school book unless I'm teaching of in life again. I personally don't want to do the class. Like, me. I can grade your work. I can do all that. But I don't want to do no more school per personally. So, all right. Now that it's done, <laughs> I'm going to put up the focus for this month and tell you guys what I'm doing. So, I'm trying to get back in my reading zone. What that looks like when I have reading for class, we'll see. But I'm going to read two books for the month. The Confidence Effect by Grace Killia. And I'm judging you by Libby. So, I'm going to put all the information down here and I'll link them in the description box below. Um, wake up by 6.45 during the week. Build a new morning and evening routine. I feel like this has been on my list every month. And I gotta get I gotta get to it. Create a new self-care routine and journal every day. So that's that's what we got. Alright, so for business, YouTube, and social media, we got upload on YouTube eight times. Bill following on TikTok and Instagram. So I'm somebody who doesn't go with oh you gotta have a certain number. <clears throat> I just need to see growth. Health and fitness. Walk at least four times a week. Be out here walking. Spiritual. Go to church. Conduct Bible study once a week and read devotional daily. And then save $500. All right, y'all. So thank you guys for staying tuned. That is what my August look like. This is one of my September. What I'm going into what it's supposed to look like. Um, as always, comment down below. Let me know what some of your goals or what some of your intentions are for the month of September. So we can, you know, hold each other accountable. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support. And as always, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss the beat when I drop a new video. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.